Hi everyone, Talking Shroom here, and today we're going to look over the Amethyst Plus add-on by Lua Studios. The first thing that you might notice is that you have a book called Amethyst Plus, and when you read it, it just gives you all of the armors and all of the ways to craft everything in your inventory, so it's readily available for you. And if you go into your inventory and look at everything, you'll notice that you have all of the armors and you also have all of the tools as well. And we'll look over that here. So we're going to look over the crafting recipes and as you can see the first one, for the amethyst helmet, it's five amethyst shards in this grid pattern and it'll give you the helmet. For the chest plate, it's eight amethyst shards in this grid pattern to give you the chest plate, as you can see here. For the leggings, it's 7 amethyst shards in this grid pattern, and for the boots, it's 4 amethyst shards in that grid pattern. For the sword, it is 1 stick and 2 amethyst shards in this grid pattern. For the axe, it is 2 sticks and 3 amethyst shards. For the pickaxe, it is also 2 sticks and 3 amethyst shards. And for the shovel, it is two sticks and one amethyst shard and in that grid pattern. And for the hoe, it is two sticks and two amethyst shards. So now we're going to test out the amethyst tools. So I'm going to spawn a few cows. And as you can see, the amethyst sword does a pretty good job at one-shotting every mob. <laughs> Gotta go and get this one. So it has plus six attack damage as you can see there so it's a pretty good sword I think it's pretty balanced next we will try the amethyst axe and as you can see here the amethyst axe actually breaks logs pretty swiftly pretty equal to a an iron axe and it's pretty efficient in that way next we will try the Amethyst pickaxe. I'm gonna lay down a few stone here so I can show it to you. You'll notice that the amethyst pickaxe also has a pretty good efficiency, kind of like the iron pickaxe. And next we will show you the amethyst shovel. As you can see, it has pretty good efficiency as well. Also, if you might notice, the durability for those three don't go down, and I'm not sure if it's a bug or something that just hasn't been added yet, but I'm sure it'll be fixed. And last but not least is a hoe. Not really much to see here, just normal hoe. Gives you pretty good farmland and has pretty good durability. Next we will look at the Hematita crafting recipes for the new armor. So for the helmet, it's the amethyst helmet and the iron ingot. The chest plate, it's the amethyst chest plate and the iron ingot. For the leggings, it's the leggings and the ingot. For boots, it's boots and the ingot. For the sword, it's the sword and an ingot. For the axe, it's an axe and an ingot. For the pickaxe, it's a pickaxe and an ingot. For the shovel, it's the shovel and the ingot. And you guessed it, for the hoe, it's the normal hoe and the iron ingot. Next, we will be testing out the hematita tools and the armor. So I'm going to go ahead and put on the armor and it looks so cool. It's really well done. First thing you might notice is that I have regen and it's actually regen three, which I think is pretty crazy. Also, listen to the sound it makes when I jump. It's awesome. It makes a little amethyst sound when you jump. Now we will try out the sword with a few cows. As you can see, it's also pretty good at taking out mobs, pretty efficient. It has 7 attack damage and is obviously better than the normal amethyst sword. Now for the axe, you can kind of tell that the efficiency is a little better and faster than the amethyst axe. You might notice again the whole durability bug, I'm sure that'll be fixed. We gotta give creators time for these things. Um, bugs are meant to happen. Nothing's perfect and people always have to look over their stuff. Next, we will try the pickaxe. Let me again lay out a few stone for you. And you'll notice that the pickaxe mines significantly faster than the normal amethyst axe. 
pickaxe, sorry. Next we'll try the shovel. As you can tell, it mines dirt a lot faster than the amethyst shovel normally. Again, the durability issue, like I said, will probably be fixed. And then the last, it's the hoe. Nothing exactly special about it. It just has more durability than the amethyst hoe does. Now I'm going to test both pickaxes, and as you can see here, the amethyst pickaxe can mine all of these ores pretty efficiently. It can mine diamonds, gold, lapis, and surprisingly enough, and I tested this before I recorded it so I didn't look stupid, um, it can mine obsidian. It takes a little longer than diamond would, but it still works, and I think that's absolutely fascinating. And just to prove it, there it is in my inventory, one obsidian. Wasn't given to me by cheats or anything. And now for the Hematita pickaxe, obviously mines a lot faster, more efficient. Obviously is going to mine the obsidian a little faster and it's obviously going to drop because it did with the amethyst pickaxe. I still think that's absolutely crazy. And just to prove it, there's two obsidian in my inventory. There was a bug that I noticed with the armor and the armor trims when I first got this add-on because I just wanted to see if it worked. So I'll show you this. We're just going to test the flow add-on, but if you notice, it doesn't appear when you upgrade it. So let me just upgrade all of these. And now it looks like all of the armor is gone from my inventory, but it's actually all still there. It's just bugged so you can't see it in your inventory and I don't think that was something that was intended for and as you can see I can still put it on you can still see it I just think it's like a simple inventory bug that can be fixed very easily one thing you may have noticed missing is the amethyst trident so I kind of came up with a way to craft it so you take a normal trident and surround it with eight amethyst shards to get the amethyst trident of course, it can be very different since I do not own this add-on and the creator is free to do whatever they want. I also thought of a way to make a hematited trident, which is basically just kind of taking like a diamond sword and upgrading it to netherite. Of course, the upgrade template will be different, and I think it would be cool instead of an amethyst shard to have treasured geodes that could have the chance of having an amethyst spearhead. So right now in the game, the only two amethyst blocks that exist are the block of amethyst and the budding amethyst. They're cool to decorate with, but there's not really many other uses for them. So I thought it would be very interesting if you could put it in through a stone cutter to make pillars or bricks or even stairs just to have new uses and decorations for the blocks. So as you notice, it's nighttime, and that's pretty significant because when you put down an amethyst cluster, it actually gives off light right here. So I think it would be very cool to have some sort of amethyst lantern. And if you also look with the large amethyst bud and the medium am amethyst bud, they also give off light, but not as much as the amethyst cluster. So obviously the amethyst cluster would be used. So, if you noticed before, regen was also a big thing for the hematite armor, and as you can see, you can in fact enchant them, but I had a different thought of a way to reuse the regen with a new enchantment called Regenerate that is specifically for the amethyst and hem hematite armor, which would basically replace mending for both types of armor. So in the brand new update, Copper got copper doors and copper trap doors. I, I think that this add-on could incorporate the use of shards to make doors and trap doors like copper does. I also thought it would be fun to include something with a shield and amethyst, and I thought of two ways to craft it. One with a shield surrounded by eight amethyst shards, or the other with the normal shield recipe, but the iron ingot is replaced by a amethyst shard. That is it for my review on Amethyst Plus by Lua Studios. 
Make sure to go check it out in the marketplace and support the creator. If you'd like to see me do more content like this, please let me know, and I will gladly do so. Bye!